Hey everybody, it's uh, Natasha, the Canadian witch. So this week the topic is tools we love. Um, I didn't know how many I should show and I didn't want to show like all my tools because I love them all. But I decided to show two items um, and both are quite versatile for me. So that's why I love them so much. Um, I'll start with my wand so i have two wands i have one that is made out of a uh, apple tree and i have this one that is made from a weeping willow from the the willow park in salem that was a big branch on on the ground when we went to sell him and my best friend took it and um, made pieces so that we could take one and make our own ones with it so i love that i absolutely love weeping willows like the die die i want to be changed into a weeping willow there's ways to do that but anyway i just love weeping willows so for years and years, I was hoping to get a Weeping Willow wand. It's still not done. It, I work with it, but I mean, I'd like to engrave things in it. And instead of doing writings on it, like I did with my Apple wand tree. And this one is really nice. It's small. It's a good size for the hand. I have really small hands, tiny fingers, <laughs> so that's perfect for me. And I, the reason I love one so much is that I never been that in, not that interested, but okay, I'll explain. Um, Atomies are from a masculine energy and ones are feminine energy. And I have always worked better with female energy. So my ones, I have less issues with them. I can control my energy better when I use my wand than if I use my atomy. And it's nothing against my atome because it's really pretty and I love it. But I use it way less often than my ones. So I need to finish working on it. But I need to find the right time of when something is going to tell me it's time to work on your wand. So until then, it's untouched. Uh, at this point um, and then my second item is this it's like a incense burner where you put sand on in it I'm sorry and you add a um, oh god I still can't remember the name I, I just did a video and I started again and I still can't remember the name. Um, you know the black thing that you light up and put herbs on? Um, so, see, you put that in there on sand to burn herbs. But what I love about that too is that I can do that or I can rinse it off and uh, put water in it to be like a scrying bowl. Because I have mirrors, but I don't have a scrying mirror, a black mirror. I don't have one. I'd like to make one myself. I have like a square mirror that I used for magic ones. And I've cleaned it and everything. Um, the There's no energy attached to it, but I... I'd love to use it one day as a, a scrying mirror, but I don't want to fuck it up. <laughs> so, for now, I use this. 
as a scoring bowl since it's black as uh, the water reflects pretty much black so this is one of the most versatile uh, tool I have along with my wand so yeah that's what I wanted to show I hope you enjoyed I didn't see the video from yesterday so I don't know what the the item was for yesterday um, but watch everybody this week uh, subscribe if you didn't yet if you want to see more tools that I have you can go see my channel the Canadian witch the link will be below so have a great week take care buddy let's be bye